Oh, she's wicked jittery, huh? That's unfortunate. Wonder why that is. <clears throat> Hmm. Oh, maybe it was just loading. Yeah, that's probably what it's doing. Looks better. All right. Um. Um. <clears throat> I don't know this is live, but I know it's going to be recorded. Uh, for those of you guys seeing this in post, I'm trying a new uh, video thing for the background. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. I'm pulling it straight up off of YouTube via URL and displaying it in the background because I like to have background footage because that's fun. Um, right now we're just kind of waiting. <clears throat> Oracle, who's my teammate, is going to be on in a few minutes, he's finishing up eating his dinner, and I will be doing the same, well, the snack, really. So, just hanging out. I'll probably put up a post in a minute or two on Facebook, probably. Plenty of people know that it's live. Um, if you guys come in, and I want this channel to be like a new thing, every time you come in to the stream, please leave a like a chat, start chatting. Um, for this particular one, I doubt anyone's actually here yet, but for this particular one, if you could put down like how long you've been doing it, and like where you're from, because this particular stream is going to be going over the event on the 20th. Um, which is a trading event and a swap meet, uh, completely free. But I want to try to get some newer people in here and make sure that they are as prepared as they can be for the upcoming event. But that's about that. Um, oh, I hear somebody, somebody's live. Here, you might want to post the link to the uh, training day in the uh, live stream. Um, I could probably do that via chat, can't I? Yeah, and then I think you can pin it in chat. Okay. Peace, let me send that to chat. Back for refresh your management. I don't have a. I don't have a pin. All right, I see it. I'm looking at. I'm looking at. I'm looking at the chat. I can see it. Okay. Um, when I first booted up the stream, it was a little stuttery, but then I gave it a minute, and it seems to be doing okay. No, it seems fine. I'm looking at it now. Cool, cool. I, uh, you know, in typical dusty fashion. Typical dusty fashion. I had to mess with what was a perfect product. Uh, because I deleted the video files that I used in the background, so I had to improvise, <laughs> and I pulled it. 
Yeah, I pulled it straight off the URL, so I'm actually using the browser right now in OBS to play footage in the background. Oh, I see. All right. And I think it's muted. I wonder if I could actually do that. You know, I could do it through here. Ooh. Yeah, it's muted. I can't hear it. There we go. I turned it all the way down. But I was just sitting here eating yogurt for a little bit, but I was like, that's that's not a good look, so I stopped doing that. Yogurt with blueberries in it. It's been kind of my thing lately. Mm -hmm. But I have the other guys responded at all. I don't think so. Odin Simeon Tanks. No. I don't think anyone's in here yet. I'm actually going to go and make a post on Facebook, I guess, and Discord, I guess. Might as well do both. Maybe I'll do a comment. What do you think? A new post or a comment? Which one do you think is better? What do you normally do? Well, I made a post, like, not too long ago. I'll do a big comment on that one. Mm. I'll just make another post. Um, is there a URL? I need the URL for the actual stream. I might as well throw that in there. Bam. Do my channel. Uh, I think a few. Let's do copy URL. Copy, paste, enter, oh boy, she lagging, come on. Yeah, next time you know you could just download the YouTube video uh, and then play it. I think she's struggling. Hang on. I think the wireless bit for my keyboard is struggling. Ah, there we go. That's better. on the, the old Facebook real quick. Um, I'm going to go throw one up on the Discord too. Um, if anyone's actually in here, you could probably see the viewership, right? Logan's got an uh, Six. Six? Anything in the chat? Nothing in the chat yet. And y'all are silent. I don't like silent viewers. Silent viewers is scare me a little bit. You know you can um, set all this up beforehand and not start the stream. Like well, I mean, I have to... Probably, so more people will probably tune into the stream if we're not fucking around for 20 minutes trying to figure everything out. Because well, they'll join, like, oh, out. nothing's happening, it's, and then they leave. It's running. The stream is... It has to be running for people to watch it, so... Yes, but what, I, what I'm saying is you can make it private set everything up, wait till everyone joins, and then start it. Well, it seems like you might be the only one that joins. CJ's like, eh. I don't know what Gavin's doing. Um, I need... I have that.
is that in the main Discord? Um, yeah, I guess we could just start going through the list. I I would like to have more viewers here for that, to be honest. But not that big a deal. Um, I'll act Gavin real quick. He should be able to join. I know he's working on his rifle right now, but... In the meantime, um, while I wait for my teammates' viewership, if there is any viewership, I hope there is, um, Snarky Coconut asks if we will be attending Breach. Um, it's in the talks. It's in the works. Um, I'm putting it up to the guys, essentially. Um, if the guys on my squad want to go to Breach, we will go to Breach. Um if I could get two or three guys, maybe four guys to go, I'll go. But other than that, Breach isn't really my game mode. I might come out just to hang out and maybe do some video recording for people or, you know, whatever. What have you. But um, if you're here in the stream, um, this stream is about to talk about the 20th, the free event at Kohl's. It's a training and swap meet hybrid event. Um, it's going to be going on pretty much all Saturday into Saturday evening, maybe. Uh, depends on if we teach um, night operation stuff. So as we have a few guys who are inclined and have the proper equipment to teach the course, or at least open people's eyes up, is about the most we could expect from that, to be honest. Um, but if you're tuning in, that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, your guys' job, watching us right now, I want you to come in the chat. I want you to tell me your call sign. I want to tell me how long you've been playing, you know, just a few sentences, whatever, so I know who I'm addressing and who I'm talking to so I can, you know, not flounder around for 20 minutes talking about miscellaneous stuff. Obviously, I'm going to kind of breeze over everything to let new people because I know that there's been a few new players and some players returning to the sport from years of not playing. Um, and this is kind of really for them to let them know what to expect and, you know, maybe what they've missed out on in their hiatus from the hobby and stuff like that. It's kind of more of an informative experience today, not really going too crazy. Orko, where'd you go? It was right here. Oh, oh, you're muted. You were silent. Silent but dead mute. Um, I don't know who Snarky Coconut is. Did you hear me talk about Breach, Oracle? Yeah, no, I okay. heard everything. Uh, Oracle wants to go to Breach, so they the guys want to do a little bit of CQB, and Oracle made a pretty good point to make sure our shit's actually working after a whole off season. So guys working on their guns yeah, and whatnot. You can show up, have your new gun, think it works play 20 minutes yeah, and then, that and doesn't then it work doesn't anymore. work and then you have problems oh yep. my goodness i love when videos just autoplay when i open my phone it's my favorite thing um i'll fix gavin on facebook too be nice to get a more diverse selection of angles and people to talk about that would be nice about uh, Odin, is he going to come on? I texted him on Discord. I don't think he's gotten back to me yet. No. No, he has not gotten back to me. He texted me at 8.07, and I texted him back at 8.12. So that's a pretty quick turnaround. He has not gotten back to me yet. I was like, it's going to be a rather quick stream. I'm kind of letting it have a little bit of lull so people can see the posts and hop in the stream and hopefully start communicating with us. That's really what I'm waiting on. Yeah, I guess if there's Something. any like new people or people returning for a while uh, watching, just 
if you've got a question, ask it. We'll we'll try and answer. We might be able to. Yeah, we'll probably be able to answer, to be honest. I know that we're going to have our work cut out for us when it comes to that Saturday on the 20th. Is that Gavin hopping in? Is he in here yet? He said he would hop in for a little bit. No, it's still just me and you. Okay. No one in chat yet. Um, is the viewership still wicked low? Is it still like six people? Or did it go up? Uh, it's up 14. 14? Wow, I'm blown away. That makes me so happy. Welcome, Gavin. You are That's you are right. you are in the Discord. You are being recorded on the stream. I'm not <laughs> sure if we've. I don't. I don't sure. I'm. I'm not sure if your voice has blessed the stream yet. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching a little bit the stream. Um, <clears throat> for those of you so who don't can, know, can you uh, back me up? That we need to uh, have everything ready to go before we start going live. Okay, you're oh going live. I thought you were talking about before the season kicks off. I was like, you're talking to a guy who's literally working on his gun right now. No, no, no. I mean, before we go live, we should be ready to go. Do you agree? Yeah. Or okay. No? Well, well, our team is a bunch of flakers sometimes. All right. Listen, <laughs> trying to get them together to do a stream for a little bit is a pain sometimes. I want to go to breach. Me and okay. Zach want to. Yeah, okay, I'm, I said that's that's three. Let's do it. That's three. Okay, Snarky Coconut, whoever you are, I don't know who you are. Confirmed. The boys want to go to Breach, so I guess I'm going to Breach. Use my uh, freshly built gun, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll be crying in a corner because I hate that kind of CQB. I don't <laughs> mind like a little bit more open ended CQB, but like when it's that kind of CQB, it's like. Whoa. It's like my favorite. Yeah, there ain't no progression through that. That is just you're going up shit's creek without a paddle. <laughs> just pushing through it. No, Oracle. I'm sorry. I had to mess with the video again, with the stream. I had to mess with it so I could get my stupid background going because I like it too much. I enjoy having stuff in the background. I do. A I agree. Too much. You're not wrong. I'm just trying to, but, to help the, um, help the channel because presentation uh, is a big part of looking like you oh, know how to do it. Thoughts on our tourists? Um, I like them a lot. I like their new AKs quite a bit. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about their new um, Perrin line of AKs. Uh, I know two people who bought them and they have loved them to death so far um we love the performance and whatnot out of the back good ak bad m4 mm, i haven't gotten my hands on their new cat series m4 i've never had an arcturus i love them i just don't have the money to fork out to buy them um their new cat series i don't know could be decent i haven't had one i know their older system with the micro switches were kind of eh, but we got 14 people. I'm going to break out the list hmm. that I made, Oracle. I'm going to break it out mm -hmm. so we can get started here. You have a we list. Have a few people. <laughs> yeah, I made so about time. Yeah, I for 20 minutes. About yeah. time. I made, I made a list because we have things to go over. Um, So I got two categories, two main categories, right? What to expect and then, like, what you should bring. Um probably easier to go over what you should expect first um so people we're talking about the 20th which is a free event at Coles all day probably into the evening even it's a swap meet and a free training day a lot of the local airsoft veterans and squad leaders like myself will be joining together to help teach people how to play airsoft um hopefully effectively hopefully um but i'm really excited i'm excited to get out into the community and, and talk to people it's been a long winter really winter <laughs> hasn't been really wintery but except for the well, past one that was we just had. last week <laughs> no that was it getting its last laugh is what it was yeah well, for this this uh event you don't necessarily have to go to both if you just want to go to the slot meet you can do that yeah, that's uh, what yeah. I'm doing. If you if you don't have anything to trade, then 
don't don't worry about it. You can just go to the training, or you can do both. You can you can do it's both. Completely free, so you know, come to what you want to see and don't feel like you're obligated to stay the entire time. Although if you're a new person, it'd probably be best because you can get some uh, good insights from people that have been playing for a while. Yeah, believe it or not, it's wicked good even if like you don't have anything to sell if you just go around to the booths because there's probably going to be a lot of teams there you could actually just go and talk to people because at that point we really don't have anything better to do so we would love to talk to people that's really all i'll be going to do that morning is going around talking to people maybe trying or to sell us find a few a good things deal on something that's true you could find some good deals ask your buddies like if you bring twenty bucks, you could probably get something pretty good that you would not be able to get. Wow! Otherwise. Wow! Mm, mm, gear wise, Depends yes. If you're, getting, yeah. if you're getting gear, you could spend twenty bucks and walk away with a bunch of stuff at a swap meet. As a rifle, yeah, you could get oh, you could get a whole pants and shirt for twenty bucks. To be honest, a rifle. Right. <laughs> if you walked up with two hundred dollars cash to a swap meet, you could probably come away with a decent rifle. Um, that's not absolute garbage, but that's that's a little extra for someone who's either getting yeah. back into it or is new um but other than that like what to expect um it's going to be a long day it's going to be a lot of stuff happening you know there's going to be the the training events going on there's going to be the swap meet going on throughout the training event probably i would imagine the people who aren't interested in doing training will still be around until they feel like leaving so expect it to be an all-day thing um, if you're not interested in the training, you can probably just come and see what's going on and then leave whenever. It's not like you have to stay there forever if you want to. Uh, Gamer Red, yes, 20th of April. 20th of, At I think this Cole's month, I think Farm. it's April. At Coles. Um, which is right down the street from Harris, if you know where that is. It's, it's pretty close. <laughs> it's, it's what I call the sister field. Um... I think you uh, posted the, the event page link in the chat. Yes, the event, the, the page for this event is in the chat at the very top. It's I posted it, so it should be like highlighted or something. It should be special because I posted it because it's on my channel. So it should be easy to find, I hope. But let me bring the list back up. Um... Um, what you, what to expect for the training portion. Okay, this is really the meat and the potatoes. Um, if you're coming for the training, or if you come with the intention of training, uh, you can bring all of, all of your gear if you want, and be prepared to suit up in it. If you want to, you don't have to. You could do a, a simplified kit, like me. I will be running my, um, helmet setup, because I need it for my glasses because if i don't i won't be able to see because i'll fog up so sadly i need to have them and i'll just be running my my rig and my backpack because that's kind of like my main kit i won't have my battle belt with me probably not um and i'll be wearing regular civvies so i'm going to be running a very slim down kind of casual loadout but if you want to bring your full loadout because we're larpers and we like to dress up that's perfectly fine um be prepared that some of the veteran guys may critique your kit. We might be like, hey, you know, we've run that kind of thing, and that doesn't really work out super well in practice. Um, and we might recommend you to consider other options. We're not going to straight up just hammer you for what you're wearing, but we will politely ask you about, you know, your thoughts on what you're wearing and maybe recommend a better choice because we've probably been down that road before and we've usually for for most people we could say that that's probably not going to work. You know, kits very personal, so what might work for us may not work for you and that's okay. And you can accept that and you can just tell us to, you know, fluff off. You know what I, you're talking about. I would about. say just to to interject uh, if you are doing the training, bare minimum, bring iPro. Uh, I yes. probably won't be any iPro, live fire, but sure. in the case there is, better to have it not. Uh, like, you can just show up with that, and you'd be fine. If you don't have iPro, there will probably be people there selling iPro. Not, like, secondhand, but, like, the uh, the guys that run the fields, they sell iPro and whatnot. So they have a little pro shop. Um, 
so you will likely be able to get Ipro. Please do bring it though. I'm bringing mine just in case. Um, everyone else probably will too, I would imagine. I do not know as of this moment. I am not the guy. I am not the head honcho of this training event. I did the one last year as like a uh, trial run. And the one of the other guys who is a veteran player like I am wants to take the helm this year. So he's doing it. I don't know if he's going to do live fire or not. He typically is a guy that's more live fire um, encouraging than I am. I don't necessarily think it's needed for training, mainly because I don't like to waste ammo and I don't like to wear and tear on the guns because I spend a lot of money on mine and I don't want to run extra miles if I don't have to, if that makes any sense. Um, but that's pretty much it kit-wise. Wear what you want. I would recommend wearing all of your main kit at the very least because it's good to train in what you're going to use. Um, and if it's your first time running your kit, I don't know how deep we're going to get into the training and the maneuvers and stuff, but you will learn very quickly what works and what doesn't just through through trial and error and, and using it. That's one of the best ways to work through a kit is by going out and simply using it. In, I would encourage, in however, anyone has their kit set up, make sure you have a water in it somewhere, whether it's a backpack, yes, it's in a water. powder, have water. Because yeah, even that's like in the, April, that's in the what to bring hot. section, I think. Yeah, April. I mean, it's not super hot in April, I but we the... play games in July, in August. You need you need water. Because we have many cases of people not having water. Yeah, that does happen quite a bit. They cramp up, or they have to you know go back and get water, and uh, that can mess up your team if you know a couple people just have to um... go back and get water thirty minutes into the first game. That's that's all I had for what to expect. I don't know, as I said, I'm not running the whole gig this time. I'm just there to help. So I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing drills-wise and, and practice-wise. Um, but I know for certain that they're going to drill a battle buddy system wicked hard. That is going to be pushed like nobody's business. So, and also... Uh, as far as I'm aware, the training is going to trend more towards new or people who have only played a little bit rather than yeah. upper level people. So if upper you're coming level. to expect like you know super operator courses and whatnot, that is not what is going to be happening. I mean, you might yeah, still learn something. Not that, that's but a good point. But it's not. It's going to be more like here's how you you know suppress a fire, using the gun, handling the gun, stuff like that. More than likely, is going to be the restarting focus. the video. There we go. Um. I was thinking of something. Yeah, he makes he makes a good point, guys. If you're newer, or if you're returning to the sport after a while, oh, well, if you're returning for this to the sport after a while, you might be fine. But you should do it anyhow, just to knock off some of the rust. But yeah, um, get a little pressure. If you're like a super experienced player, or as a as a term I've recently come to love, if you're a super greasy player and you're super sweaty at airsoft, like you're probably not going to be super interested. But um, if you are that player, we'll probably pull you to help teach other players because um, everyone has a different play style and different opinion. Um, Lucas says the promo video was gay. great. Um, that's Oracle. Oracle did that for me. Um, we all kind of, me and him went back and forth and made our own versions and he released his and the guys liked his more. So we went with what he, he made and he did a good job. So um, that whole promo idea, by the way, was sparked by the Death Eaters video. They made a cool little cinematic video talking about how they were coming out to our fields this year. And, you know, being the home team that we are, we weren't going to let that just sit and settle. We had, to, we had to show up and be like, whoa, wait a minute. We see what you did here. And, uh... I want to let you know that we're we're going to be seeing you on the field. You know, very excited for them to come out. They came out a few times last season, and they're a big team, so that's a big presence on the field. Um, but we're excited to see them more, and hopefully in, like, regular games, they came out for our tournament-style deal. I want to see them more in regular games. I think that would be really cool having a very big, comprised um, cohesive unit on the field to fight with and against. 
Um, so it'll shake things up a little bit because we haven't had a big team like that in the past few years that have been um, cohesive like they are. So very exciting. But that sidetrack, sorry, the promo got distracted. Um, other than that, um, they're drilling battle buddies. So if you're new or if you're returning or if you're planning on coming to this training event, find yourself a buddy. Bring them. Like if you think they might be interested, bring them. Get a battle buddy. Because we're going to be drilling it, and it's better to have someone you know and trust right behind you than some random dude. So bring your buddies, bring them out, use them as your battle buddies. Um, hopefully it's an airsoft guy. If not, maybe try convincing them to get into the hobby because it is a lot of fun. Um, but that's going to be a huge thing. Um, the whole goal of this event is to try to train the people who are getting into the hobby to be better at the sport and to have a general grasp of what is happening at the games we play because we play games at a little bit of a higher level than most other fields do like UBG or even RPC they do a lot of skirmish games and new players can generally understand skirmish games you know go here point the gun at an enemy and pull the trigger our games are much more complicated there's there's um you know there's squads Maybe not like strict squads, but like their squads like self-proclaimed squads like my squad and other teams like the Death Eaters. Yeah, there, there's Imperials. objectives. There's phases. There's objectives. There's a bunch of other stuff. Um, yeah, if you've never been to the Coles AO, um, it is awesome. I love the Coles I'm, field. I'm sure they will have uh, a decent part of the field you'll be able to, to look at for the training. Yeah, I uh, think... And... I think we could take them out into the tree field and they'll see the main part of the field, the to both sides of the valley. You could kind of get a glimpse and hook on to the structures and whatnot. Yeah, Coles is a different from Harris. It's it's good, but it's different. You can't uh, play exactly the same because it's a lot no. more open um, and it's a lot Harris, more vertical. Yeah, Harris has a lot more structure on it than Coles because Coles is like a brand new field. Um, so Coles is very old school, woods ball, wood softing. You gotta learn how to move and disappear and move quietly. And, you know, there ain't a lot of structures, there ain't a lot of cover. Um, different game out there. It's a lot of fun though, because it's really big area. You can disappear very easily. You can get some really good. You know, it's gonna sound funny coming from me, but you can get some really good flanking elements going. You know, I had to put that in there. That is what I'm famous for. Um, but other than that, I don't know, do you, Gavin, do you have anything to chime in on what you think, you know, even as a newer player yourself, you've only been playing for a few years, but you know, it doesn't seem like it. Do you have anything that um, you want to, is he even in here? Yeah, he's in here. Okay. Yeah, I'm in here. No, not really. It's kind of hard to say what to expect because I don't know exactly what we're running for drilling and teaching. Um, I'll expect... <laughs> I would expect like if you have never played before, you've never like shot yeah. a gun ever in your life, they will get you set. Yeah, we'll, expect... we'll get you hooked up. Yeah, we'll, we'll get teach you, ready you to the go. ways. Um, expect to uh, uh, learn radio. That's going to be a big one too. Learn <laughs> radios. Even if you don't have a radio, we're going to teach you how to use one. We're going to teach you the fundamentals of radios. Um, because they're very important out there on the field. You know, maybe not everyone needs to have a radio, but you should at least Squad learn to least. use one just in case, you know, maybe your buddy's dead and he needs you to you know, use his radio to give away some very important information to command. You know, whatever it happens to be, everyone should learn how to use a radio. Not everyone needs a radio, to be honest. But And uh, if you have a radio, like a bow thing, I will have my computer... Yeah by my mm -hmm. car on my table and I can program it for you. That way you don't have to enter your frequency in every time you can just go to the yep. channel. I can't Cause I noticed you. a lot of people will have bow things <laughs> and they don't program them. And then you yes. tell them go to channel four and they're like, Oh, what, what frequency is that? Like, I oh, get here, that now you can just put it in. two or three times every pregame. They walk up to me and they're like, which, what frequency is channel two? And I'm like, you know, if I don't have my like my handy dandy little map thing that I usually have on me on my wrist, which has the radio frequencies, if I don't happen to have that, I have no idea because mine's are pre-programmed. 
How should I get a call sign? Um, so, Lucas, call signs are interesting. Sometimes they are self-labeled. A lot of the times they are given to you. You earn a call sign on the field. Um, mine happens to be Dusty, and I gave that to myself because the original concept for my team, um, we all took names from a group of fictional characters and mine was dusty however it's transformed over time because of what i did for work um oracle is oracle because he knows a lot about radios and technology he's he does drones he does radios so like he's kind of like that all seeing kind of foretelling guy um we don't have any for the hayfords yet we just call them hayfords because that's their family name and there's like two of them yeah. Technically three of them. The other one is a, is he a Hayford? I don't know if he's a Hayford, but we call him a Hayford. No, he is. He is. Okay, yeah. So there's three younger guys. They're all Haifords, so we just yell Hayford, and one of them will answer, or we call them by their name, because we haven't picked out specific call signs for them. Um, but it's one of those things, you know, if you find something that you really like, and that's like, you know, a part of your identity, then that's usually what a really good call sign is. Or it could be something silly and funny that someone just happens to call you one day, and that's what you're stuck with. I happened to work with a group of, it was his son, it was a it's father, a son, and I think the son's best friend. And the the father was older than me, so he's you know almost middle age, and the two kids were really young, and they happened to call like this group of kids like the monkeys or whatever, and so I just called them monkey squad. Because I didn't know their names, and I that and that stuck. And they just called themselves the Monkey Squad, and they got patches and everything. Um, a really proud moment for me on the field there. But it's just one of those things. Either you find one yourself, or you just earn one. And it just happens. I don't have any advice for that, to be completely honest with you. Um, oh, Sippy Cup. Sippy Cup, that's one of the, the Ruben gang. Asked about how I feel about the Mogro showing up to Coles again. Um... I don't really care. I know that the last time they came out, I had a little a little bit of a problem with sportsmanship there in the end. But other than that, I didn't have any negative interactions with them all day. I know that the one time they did come out, they had some issues um, bereft of my friend Josh. Um, nothing to do with him, but the team itself had some issues when they came out. And But I don't necessarily think... I think that was just a bad day for everyone. Everyone was having a really bad day. It was a really toxic day. Um, I think on my channel, it's like I labeled it as like one of the most toxic games or something like that um, because that's what it felt like. I think Oracle, Oracle was there for that game, the Fulcrum game. A lot of people did not have a great time, and, and, and spirits were elevated and heated. People were angry. I don't think it's a good example. Um, I'm perfectly fine with whoever coming out to the field as long as they don't cause any super big issues. So, and I mean like big issues like, like violence or rule breaking or, or like stuff that causes danger to people. You know what I mean? Um, hey Josh, I see you're here. Voodoo. If you want to keep that call sign. Um, been chilling. I haven't heard from you or seen you, sadly. Um, we chillin'. Uh, season's kicking up soon, so be ready. Um, I think the first game is the first week of May, so be ready if you can make it. That's a Harris. We'll be ready for you if you get the day off. I don't know if you work weekends or not. I don't think you do, but that could have changed. Um, let's go into, so that's what to expect, right? Let's go into what you need to bring. We touched on, you know, they kind of overlapped a little bit and gear and whatnot. But um, Oracle mentioned earlier, water. Water is a huge deal. Always have water on you. Um, usually our rule is just to enter the field. You need at least 16 ounces. You're going to want more than that. Um, newer players, if you're listening, get a camel pack. Get a hydration pack and just put it on your back. I don't care if you got kit that, like, if it goes over your kit, like, it, it is a lifesaver. I know people that run canteens. I know people that just run water bottles. Oracle swap to a water bottle is kind of weird. That's a weird thing to do. 
but he does it. I just swapped because I don't want a backpack on. <laughs> it gets too hot. Oh, see, I don't, I don't mind having a backpack because it's integrated into my system, so it's it's very comfortable for me. Um. Okay, yep. Yeah, for training, we already touched on this slightly. You're gonna want all the gear that you you want to bring. Core gear you should definitely bring. So like, uh, chest rig, plate carrier, um, belt system if they're really pertinent to your kit. Like you need them to function. If it's like an Alice gear or something like that. Um, if you wear a backpack, wear whatever you normally wear for a game. You don't have to get all camoed up if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to go crazy with the gear. Um, but bring a rifle, uh, bring a battery. I don't know if we're doing live fire or not. That has not been disclosed to me, so be prepared for that. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be slinging BBs or not. I don't know about that one. That would be a good thing to get a question and answer on, of which I don't have. Um, maybe bring BBs. By now, you'd hopefully have BBs, but if you're brand new, you probably won't. But the pro shop should have bbs so if we happen to be slinging bbs or if you want to sling bbs at targets or trees or whatever you could buy some so they're there um i would recommend bringing some cash or any kind of disposable money that you can card cash credit card i don't know um lucas says prehydration is important uh of course Prehydration is important. Drinking water every day is important, but I know people don't do that, <laughs> myself included, and probably a lot of other people. Um, something I've tried, though, um, is that usually after a day of gameplay, especially in the heat, I will always cramp at night in my legs. So what I started doing is I started doing smart water, like electrolyte water, instead of just regular water, and that seems to help. So... Oh, Punisher says that we may have skirmishes, so... I would say bring a live rifle with BBs just in case. Um, thank you for saying that, Punisher. I have not talked to him on that topic in particular. Um, we've kind of done a bunch of broad spectrum talks back and forth, but that's an interesting one. Not a terrible idea. It'd be really, it's actually a really good idea because um, we're going to have a command class which will help teach squad leaders and commanders. You know, I don't know how much in depth he's going to be going into that, probably a little bit, but it would be a cool and unique idea to have newer players under the lead of a commander fresh out of command class do a few skirmishes. That would be a really cool idea. I don't know if he's going to do that. I'm not in charge. Um, but according to Punisher, take it with a grain of salt, he says there may be skirmishes. So... Be prepared, bring, bring a rifle, bring BBs. Definitely now bring iPro. If you don't have iPro because you forgot it or didn't bring it, we're all going to shame you. Um, but if you don't have iPro because you don't have iPro and you're new, buy some and problem solved. If you don't have iPro, everyone's going to get out the shaming stick and shame. Um... But for the swap meet, I don't know, well, new players may not know how swap meets work. Um, it's a buy, sell, trade. Um, so bring anything you want to sell. And I mean anything. That's pro hopefully airsoft related. Don't just bring, like, other stuff because it's a little weird. But, like, uh, old gear, magazines, batteries even, guns, uh, holsters, just a, a whole spectrum of everything. I've had people come up to me asking, do you have a holster for a uh, blah, blah, blah handgun? Do you have a sling? That's one that gets asked quite a bit, actually, surprisingly. So if you have, so, if you have slings just dumped around for whatever reason, I know I do, um, you'll sell those quick if you bring a little pro tip. Um, uh, da, da, da. Oh, ooh, a new thing. Uh, I've been talking – I'm haven't. i not sure if I've gotten a confirmation from my tech guy – but he, last year, showed interest in doing a tech class. And for those of you who don't know, teching is working on airsoft guns, fixing, upgrading, um, all of that. Um, so he may be doing a tech class. So you guys, if any of you guys have broken replicas or if you just want to ask general questions about, um, you know, maybe good brands to buy that are base guns for upgrading, specifically for upgrading, 
um, stuff like that. Um, parts, you know, maybe what are good gun platforms to buy if you plan on upgrading rifles or working on guns. Um, hopefully he will be there and he will be running a course probably sometime in the afternoon, I would imagine, maybe in the evening about working on guns. Um, and if, if he's not there, he, he will probably definitely be there though. Um, but if he's not there and you have questions about broken, re broken replicas, working on guns, etc., or if you want to bring broken guns, I will be there. I have a decent amount of experience of working on rifles. Um, I may or may not be able to help. If it's a unique weapon, I probably won't. I usually do M4, AK, etc., that kind of stuff. Um, but we're planning on offering that too. So don't write any broken guns off or guns that need work. Bring them. Um, you can either get rid of them, actually, at the swap meet. A lot of people will buy boneyard guns. Um, or you can, hopefully, the people will be there and you can maybe talk about getting it fixed if you want to do that. That's a cool thing that we're trying to get people more educated on and involved in because it is a big part of the hobby as well in general. I know a lot of all of our guys run upgraded rep weapons, myself included, um, so it does help do certain things in places. It's nice to have a gun you can depend on, personally. Um, now, I haven't talked to Ozzy in depth, and he's the guy that's orchestrating it this time, um, about the night gameplay stuff. I know he had mentioned he wants to do a night class about um, night operations, because we do do night games at Coles. Um, Oracle here, who's still on the call somewhere, he's been quiet, um, yeah, he's probably going to be teaching that class, maybe in association with Ozzy. I don't know. Ozzy's decent at night stuff. I don't I don't know if I'd really want to listen to him. I'd rather listen to Oracle, because Oracle definitely knows what he's talking about. Um, Oracle uses thermals. He uses night visions. He has two sets of night vision, so he definitely knows, like, you know, from the from the eh stuff to like the really good stuff. Um, none of us I have like really expensive stuff. Uh, I don't know what he plans for the night, but I was basically just gonna have people take a look through the night vision to mm. you know understand what does That's it huge. look like. Like, <clears throat> like if I have a flashlight, what does it look like through night vision? If I have a yep. laser, what does that look like through night vision? And uh, obviously the. Obviously, the basic stuff like of night the, combat, yeah. too. You know, just, just uh, basic light, stuff. Nothing, light nothing discipline, crazy. light yeah. discipline, um, red lights. We're going to talk about that. That's going to be probably drilled in pretty good. Um, just stuff like that. Night combat's a little bit. There ain't really a whole lot to go over because it's kind of. It is what it is. It's dark. It's, it's so still like, coming. <laughs> so it's something that is still pretty new. Uh, yeah, the field. It is so we're still trying to get us. a feel of writing the games uh, and designing the games around it, but it still happens. I mean, I still think it's fun, even if we're you know still working out the kinks and stuff. It's, it's still a good time, and so, even like even if you don't have night vision, if you just have a, a flashlight with a good throw, a good flashlight, yes. you're gold, golden. That's it. You'll you'll be fine. So if you guys are interested in in learning night combat or, or maybe planning to attend a night game at Coles, uh, stick around, attend the class. Um, and if you want to attend the class, uh, get a flashlight, either a handheld or a weapon mounted. You can get them pretty cheap. It doesn't have to be something crazy. Just so you can learn and maybe even see what that looks like at night, you know, throwing off a bunch of white light at night um, and learn kind of like, okay, that's crazy. That's what that looks like. Don't do that. And learn, be in person learning light discipline and, and what that feels like and looks like and what night gaming almost feels like. If um, we end up doing the night portion. If we end up doing it. I don't know if it. it's happening um, or not. It will probably depend on how much turnout we get uh, and how many yeah, people are interested yeah. in doing it. But I'm sure a lot of people, I'm, we'll probably have a handful that show up that want to learn about night vision. I'm still new tonight. I know nothing yeah. about night vision. So I will be kind of perking an ear up myself to kind of learn a few things because I definitely need to learn about night vision. Um, 
I don't know how deep we're going to get into, like, when we go to the training stuff. I don't know how deep we're going to get into, like, squads and, and larger elements like that. I think he had mentioned stuff about squads that eventually we will grow into at least talking and moving through squad stuff, which is super important. Um, that's really, if you could take away one or two things from this as a new player or as a newer player, um, that sticking together with a battle buddy and then sticking together as a squad or as a larger, somewhat larger group of maybe four guys at the very minimum or more, if you as a player can retain and coordinate a small group of four or more or even just a battle buddy pair, I don't think players really realize how much strength that gives a competent commander in, in upper leadership as a whole because um, of a lot of a lot of problems that command will run into and this is why we're, we're starting to drill this really hard is because we're working on getting good commanders in place so that we can have some really competitive awesome games that are strategically um, based and, and kind of like a big chess game for the commanders. That's kind of what we're growing to, but we have to start somewhere, and we have to start with the player base. So, like, as a commander, because I've done it before, having a group of players that can stick together, they don't even have to work well, they get, that can stick together, that you can depend, that they're going to be there as a group, and they're not going to get lost, and guys aren't going to get distracted, and walk away, and be like, oh, there's a fucking bright light over there. Let me, like, walk over there and find out what that is. Because that happens a lot, especially amongst newer players. They get all lost up in the thrill of it, and they get dejected from people, and then, you know, the whole unit falls apart, and then you get no cohesion, which is a really bad thing as a commander because you lose ability to give orders to groups of people because you no longer have those groups of people. So we're going to drill this kind of cohesion at the smallest level and then you can grow it from there. But as far as newer players goes, if you take away one thing, like find a guy and stick with him. Like I don't care. Like just find him and stick to him like glue. You know, if you guys die, go back and respawn together. Like just start forming buddies out there on the field. And you'll see the difference, you know, when you have a guy that you can work with that can stick with you, it makes all of the difference. You're not just by yourself. You're not just a smaller person in a larger group, you know what I mean? You are a group of people. It's a whole different feeling out there in the field, and I hope that we can try to convey a little bit of that to these people, these newer players or maybe returning players, and hopefully get that thought process to them and get them to start thinking about that, because that would be really awesome to see, just see a group of guys all working together and sticking together, you know, from like day one. That would be insane. It doesn't happen very often. Um, but I know a lot of the guys, Gavin maybe not, but I know Oracle would like to see that probably. It makes things definitely easier when we're working as a squad with other people. So, um, rant over. It's very important. And then Clan's one thing, buddies, very important. Bring your friends. It's a fun hobby to enjoy together. Is there anything else you want to add? No, that that that's pretty much it for the list. I don't have anything else. I don't know if anything anyone else has any kind of points they want to bring into. Oh no, just uh, if, you, if you're curious, you know, give it a give it a shot. Like just yeah, show up give it, it if you like come it. Out. Stand and, if not, just yeah. Come out. That's like one of the biggest things. Show up. Like for, for me, I found these guys. Um, I just I didn't even know that Harris Farm <laughs> had airsoft, and I saw yeah, it. And I was like, you know what? I'll right go out and play. From them. Yeah, I live right down the street. Showed up, thought it was fun, and here I am. So you never know. Yeah, Oracle's cool a people. funny case when he stepped onto the scene. Very funny. Because like most new people you see in airsoft, they kind of like come out in the field and they like. You look at them and they're kind of funny. They move around funny. They don't look natural. Uh, Oracle happened to be one of those guys that when he was on the field, he just looked natural. He knew how to carry a rifle. He knew how to, you know, take cover. He knew how to do normal airsofting stuff. And so I scooped that up very quickly, being 
the proud squad leader I am who knows how to recognize young talent. Or older talent, actually. He's older than I am. I'm not that old. No, but you're older than me. So I can't yeah. say you're young talent. <laughs> you're older talent. But sometimes you get some of them, some odd acorns, like Oracle, that just kind of show up and it's like natural to them, almost. Weird, but it happens. I wonder, can, can I get Ozzy in here? Let me let me text Ozzy. Because we're at what? What are we at? 56 minutes? Oh, okay. We've hit the hour just about. Yes, yeah, so see if we can pop in and talk about the... Uh... Maybe what okay, you might be expanding the hour limitation here. Let's see. Can I? Oh, that's funny. I can play the first episode of the podcast in the background of my podcast. That's hilarious. No, but really, can I change that? How do I? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Exit full screen. Oh. Oh. oh, I can't go back. It's it's lost. Guys, I've lost the background. Wait, nope. Next one. Next one. Next one. There we go. She's back. I figured it out. I just skipped until it played another video in the background. But yes, let me text him. Um, in the meantime, chat while I'm trying to get the actual guy who's planning the event to pop in for a second. Uh questions anything else if you have friends who are new to the hobby or want to start or whatever you know whatever it is you have me as a tool to answer your questions i might not be able to answer all of them but i can answer hopefully most of them let me see here he's not gonna be able to pop in the vidi the discord because he doesn't actually have discord so we'd have to pop in the youtube chat I guess technically I could call him and put him on voice, not voicemail, uh, speakerphone. I could put him on speakerphone. Oh, I love how terrible the quality of my background looks. Oh, it's in 480. No wonder why. Yeah, Let me fix that real quick. You're using a lot of internet right now. <laughs> I don't care who's on the internet. Nobody. Me. You That's are. It. You're streaming. I'm on the internet. Streaming a stream, yes. Um, I'll give him a few minutes to get back to me. If he doesn't, then we'll just wrap things up and call it a day. But what's the viewership at Oracle? If you're watching it, um, has four. it gotten better? Do you say four? Yeah, it was at like fifteen for a while. Oh, and then it went down. Well, if it's at four, we could wrap it up. There's nobody in here anymore. They left. Oh, freelancer, that's a good video. He might have just texted me back. I wish I realized that we didn't have the viewership. You're the one streaming. <laughs> you can look at it. I can't see. No, it doesn't point. tell me. It doesn't tell me. Yeah, it does. No, it, it does. I do not see any viewership. E.T. says he's here. Frame drop. Internet. Internet's tanking right now. No, I don't see in... League 4. 
Uh, there will be a pro league. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the there's gonna be. That there's hair. gonna be. Wait, I I forgot how to use hands. There's gonna be three of them. Punisher, another three this year. Two at Harris, one at Coles, all on Saturdays. Um, pretty much confirmed, I believe. Pretty much the same have, as last year, right? We have a pro league like in, in in June, around Clawhammer. We have a pro league around Clawhammer. Um, maybe schedule is not set in stone yet, but that's what I've heard. That's all I can tell you. Sworn to secrecy. Ozzy wants to come invade my place to get his batteries back. I mean, I guess that's one way to bring him on the stream. <laughs> I don't want to wait for him to drive all the way over here. He's thinking. He's thinking too much on it. If we're gonna come to pro league, yeah, we'll probably be at pro league. We're probably gonna. I will probably be there at every game. I think I missed one game last season. I will be there. Um, as far as the squad, that depends <laughs> every week, to be honest. Oracle might be busy with something. The other guys might be busy with something. Uh, I've pretty much almost written pottery off for the entire year at this point. Uh, <laughs> sadly, um, and a few of our guys can only come out once or twice a month. So if I do come to a pro league, it might just be by myself. Possibly it could happen at one of the three. It could happen where it's just by myself. Like it was, it happened last year, could happen again this year, but I will be there probably 90% of the time regardless. So yes, we will be at pro league. Even if it's just me, I will be there. Probably join another squad for the day if I happen to be by myself or just with a few guys, but we'll be there. I know that we're excited for quite a few games this year. I know I have I have a lot of Coles games I'm putting on that I've either written or helped write, wrote. Write, write is the proper past tense. Clearly, I'm not an English major. Um, I know we have the Coles game in May, which is kind of a soft Milsim experience. I will be there for that. Sadly, Oracle will not be there for majority of that because he has other prior things to attend to that are more important than Airsoft. Um, the Hayfords will hopefully be there. It's a double event, though, so who knows if they're going to be there both days. If it's raining, probably not. Gavin. But... Oh, Gavin's no longer in here. He dipped. He skadoodled. What do you mean, what's going on with Pots? Odin, are you watching the stream but not in the voice call? What a bot. Um, to answer your question, Odin, if you're watching, um, Potteries has been really busy with a bunch of stuff lately. Um, so he may or may not be able to attend Airsoft this year. In, in in large. I mean, he's probably going to make a few games, but he's probably not going to stick around. But for all of them, like I will. Um, but Ozzy's overthinking this whole thing, trying to get bullet points out. So I will list out some bullets with Oracle here real quick of um, kind of what I expect to be covered in the training um but we'll get into that right now um so i don't know exactly what the whole breakdown is it's probably on the event page actually but in case it's not what i expect to be covered obviously um radios um, battle buddy pairs um uh, moving and covering or bounding and covering i should say that's a very basic movement um we're gonna cover um, how you address enemy contact, which for players who don't know what that means is when you get shot at, what do you do, essentially. We're going to cover that. We're going to drill that really hard um, to kind of teach new players how to do somewhat effective callouts, hopefully, hopefully effective callouts, because um, that'll help 
you know, maybe the, the more experienced players around them to better engage the enemy. Um, simple stuff like that. Um, maybe we'll probably get into a little bit of learning about squads and how squads work and how to work in a squad and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, Punisher said maybe some skirmishes later. That would be kind of cool. We'll, we'll see about that. Um, as far as, like, active drills goes, that's probably all I know. Maybe some gun drills. Maybe if we, if we want to do that. I don't know if he's doing that or not. Would be a good warm-up, in my opinion, to do some, some gun and gear drills, personally. Um, get everyone kind of move in. Get everyone, you know, situated with their kit and, you know, help them figure out if it's working for them or not, you know what I mean? Um, how fast can you access certain important areas of your kit and, you know, like your speed loaders, your magazines and, and stuff like that. I think those are all pretty good stuff to cover, so I'm hoping you will, and if not, there's going to be a bunch of people there. Yeah, yeah, stuff like that. It would be cool to do some skirmishes. It'd be kind of funny. I would probably just, I'm not sure if I would play unless they needed me to, I'd probably just sit back and record it, because that sounds like a lot of fun to watch a bunch of maybe younger guys just you can, uh, fresh you can out of the drone. crucible. Yeah, we could actually we could do the drone. We can get drone we footage. We get some drone footage. That would be awesome. Yeah, if it's That'd good weather, we'll cool. get some drone footage. We'll, we'll put that up on the channel, and people can actually come back and watch that. That'd be awesome. That's a good idea. I like that. Especially if it's between the day and night stuff, you know, it's probably going to be light enough since it's almost summertime. We'll have enough daylight to really kind of play around or two or three, really kind of mess around with it. I'd love to be just a moderator for that. I don't really need to play. Not not on that day, anyhow. I probably won't feel like playing. But, you know, that's the stuff I could kind of, off the top of my head, just what I would do personally. Um, simple stuff. But um, is there any new players in the chat or, or newer players in the chat? I see E.T. I don't actually know you by your computer name. So, like, if I do know you, you're going to have to tell me that I know you because I don't recognize any of it. Um, I know Punisher because that's his call sign and it says Airsoft Main at the, af <laughs> the after title of it. Um, yup. Unless that's Odin. Is Odin E.T.? Would you imagine the the amount of betrayal I would feel? Matt Holderman, new player here. Um, have you been here the whole time, Matt? Are you just chiming in? Did, did you listen to any of it? Did it get to you? Oh, TK. I know TK. I know TK. Just, just say you're TK. I remember. I know I forgot that one time, and then it came back to me. And now I remember for sure. Um, but I hope you'll be there, TK. Um, I think it'll be a better experience than last time. Um, I'm hoping that we can cut the talking in half and we can really get down to the nitty gritty and, and do a lot of moving and get some exercise and get people going more than we did last year. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm very excited. Um, especially if you're, if you're chiming in in the streams and... Hopefully you come out on the 20th. That's fine. That's fine. I posted it a few days ago, and then I just last second whew, sent out a notification today that we were live. So, like, not a big deal. But you've chimed in before, which means quite a bit. It means you're dedicated. So that's good. That's a good sign. Especially if you come out on the 20th. I'll be looking for you either on the 20th or after that, hopefully you come out to the field. I know that not everyone can come out all the time like I do, but um, having more players come to the field is always a good thing. Um, Oracle, is there anything yeah, you want to say? Are like to the... a, uh, if you're like a more experienced player and you want to come uh, to the training just to get, a, like, you know, learn the Coles field, you can do that. Yeah, no one you can do have that. No problem with that. Because I know we have a you lot can... of people that play Harris that don't necessarily play Coles. Mm -hmm. uh, it'd true. be a good That's way a good to point. learn the field. If you guys, during the training day, you can probably, you know, if, if we happen to be doing live fire, you'll have to, at the very least, put on iPro. But you can walk the field. If you're an experienced player and you have no interest in teaching or learning or whatever it happens to be, 
and you're there for the swap meet and maybe just to hang out and talk to people in the community, you can walk the field. If, if we're there doing an event, you can walk the field. Um, don't go up past, like, Bragg or Adams because there's nothing back there of importance right now, unless you really feel like it, to be honest. Oh, there's Odin. Odin's in here. Doc isn't gonna be there? Doc! Why must you do this to us? You're gonna be a future headstone of the community. It's okay. I get that people have stuff to do. But you better come out and play. I wanna see you at Harris. I wanna see you at Coles. I wanna see you out playing. You're fun to play with. I want to see you, you know, take charge. Grab some people. Do a squad. Make a squad. The Doc squad. Oracle, I'm not even sure if you know who Doc is. You you probably um, you were there. I saw him. The that he was there. Yeah, you you might know him by face. You probably don't know him by, yeah. by the name. Um, tall guy, and he's got a younger kid with him. Not like younger, but he's like teenager. The little duo that they got going. Um, Stingers will be there. Doc will be at Grenz. Grenz is a great game. Um, we'll see how it goes this year. Last year was a it was a private event and it got messed with. The like the op write up changed. They changed the op a little bit. Uh, we've re reverted it back to its original state. Um, just be warned, guys. I, I know I've seen three or four, maybe less people talking about Grenz that they're going to be attending Grenz. Uh, be warned, Grenz. I think is the first game of the year. A lot of things happen at the first game of the year. People are are intense. They've been waiting to play all year or all or like off season. So like, if the first day for whatever reason doesn't go super well for you, don't take that to heart. Come back another, you know, maybe give it a month and then come back and play some more games. The first yeah, like the beginning first of the season is last always year. intense. Yeah, yeah. Like the first Coles game last year was, uh, wasn't the best. Yeah, it was terrible. It was, it was, it was toxic. It was, it was disgusting. But you know, a honest. couple games later, it was great. Yeah, like once it died down, all the like toxicity died down. It's great. But I'm, I'm telling you guys. Newer players, older players, just expect that the first few games of the year, maybe for the first month, you're probably going to run into a lot more issues than you would the rest of the year. Whether it be, you know, it could be anything. Attitude, um, the level, the intensity of playing, you know, cheating, whatever it is. Airsoft shit. Like, it's probably going to be elevated. So don't just attend a game and be like, oh, that was totally crap. You know, people were attitudical and no one was calling hits or... It's the first few games of the year. It's going to be like that sometimes. It's just how it is. Sometimes they're, they're not like that. But you can always kind of give yourself the benefit of the doubt and be like, yeah, it's probably going to be a little different than the rest of the games because people are going to be a little different after being cooped up all winter. You know, it is what it is. It's something that we consider as game writers and people who try to schedule the games. You know, Grenz is a happens to be yeah, competitiveness. Odin says it right there. You know, and that's why we've kind of, we didn't want to do a pro league or do like a, even I didn't even want to do the, the Milsim light experience I'm doing as early as it is, but it just happens to be that's the way it worked out. I didn't want it to be overburdened by that competitiveness. But I also have another game later in the season at Coles that would do even worse than that one in the beginning of the year because of the way it's written. So like, it's something to take into consideration if you have a bad time don't necessarily write off the experience as a bad one just take in some of these factors of it being a fresh new year and people are going to be you know cracked up on something going crazy being competitive getting you know getting it out of their system for a bit it's just going to happen we've talked about it we plan for it um, other than that, for an hour and 15 minutes, Orca, we've gone over. You said an hour. Uh, yeah, I think unless <clears throat> Ozzy has something specific he wants us to Ozzie say. Ozzy has not gotten back to me, so. 
Yeah, we'll probably get it. was like, unless there's like specific questions, I was like, well, there haven't really been specific questions. Um, but TK, I see you. Um, that you're going to be attending New Player Day, hopefully dragging some friends along. Love to hear it. That makes me wicked happy. Um, New Player Day is a lot of fun. I actually had, that was the video that was going up on stream for quite a while before it changed. Um, last New Player Day, we had a ball. Um, we were just kind of messing around the whole time because we didn't want to like, we didn't want to play super hard because it's, it's New Player Day. There's no point in playing wicked hard. Um, it, it, there was even this really funny moment that happened that we walked out of spawn and their spawn happened to be like a hundred feet away from ours for, it was a miscalculated error on someone's part. And we kind of were like, oh, that's funny. Okay, we're not going this way anymore. Oracle was there for New Player Day. I didn't yeah, know I if there. you were or not. Yeah, you were there. I danced towards you. I'm in the video. I danced <laughs> at you. You are in the video. Yeah. I danced at you for yeah. funny ha-has. Um, but Doc won't be there for the 20th. Sad. He will be there for Gren. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of players for Gren's, which makes me happy. It's a great game mode. Doc, you should think about commanding Grenz. I don't I don't know. I think you should try it. Maybe Grenz isn't the best game mode for it, but I think you should try commanding an operation sometime this year. Give it a shot. Um, you have my support if you need it. Um, I'm glad that TK's coming out with a bunch of his other friends. Um, so I still don't know who E.T. is, but... You seem to be enjoying yourself. Lucas was in here. I don't know who Lucas is. Lucas Brett. I don't know who he is. I wish I knew a lot of you guys by your your YouTube names, but sadly I don't. Will will be there too. Okay. Et is being elusive and anonymous. Um, Odin, you could just join the call. I don't know why you're being weird and joining the chat, you nugget. You're in the Discord. You could join us. But I think we're good. I think we've talked about everything we need to talk about. I wish I had more of the finite details of the actual operation. Uh, and there might they might be in there in the, um, the write-up, the actual write-up for anyone who's in here is shared at the top of the link of the chat. That is the event for the 20th. You could probably read it. It might have some good information in there. I haven't read it yet. Because I really, I don't necessarily need to. I'm just going to show up and, and, and help. So that was my plan. I haven't read it. I'm not even sure if Ozzy really has a write-up going that's good. Because he got word garbage. Well. Um. What? You could just tell me who you are. I'm not the FBI. Oh, Eric. Okay. Yeah, you're important. You're like one of the more important people because you've been chiming in in the community. You know, ask good questions. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Um, hopefully, maybe it was educational for you. Um, oh, did you say it before? Maybe I missed it. I'm sorry if I missed it. I apologize. Um, come out on the 20th. Bring your friends. Maybe people who don't know about the hobby. Tell them about the hobby. Get them involved. Um, more people is always better. But I'm going to stop the stream before I continue ranting, and I'm probably going to go play Helldivers with Oracle for the rest of the night, because he <laughs> bought me the game as an early birthday present, because he's cool. Oh, you wrote things down? Oh, that's so extra. Ozzy's going to like you, I bet. You write things down, you pay attention, he's going to like you. He's gonna... Make sure you introduce yourself to him. He's going to be the guy running he's on the the banner of the event page he's gonna be running it um he's an interesting fellow but we're logging off i'm logging off he's logging off um if any of you guys have questions feel free to reach out to me on facebook 
either through the main page in a post or direct message on Facebook. My name is Cody, K-O-D-Y, and I can obviously make the posts in the main page a lot. Um, any further questions that you want, literally anything about the hobby, I could probably answer it. Good night, Eric. Good night, fellas. I'm stopping the stream. Oracle, let's go play.